Hello? Here, I'm going to show you something. These things always come in handy. They're cheap. You know what I mean? You get them, you can move them anywhere you want. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to move it over here a little bit. I always use one of these things. Always make yourself a nice little bench. I use rubber, eh? Very nice. Double insulated rubber there. Static charge, ZO. But you just grab one of these, anything, a C-clamp. And like, look, you got a nice sturdy place. Okay, this is a wire I made for somebody to show them how to do a banana plug. It's not a, you know, it's just a piece of, how to put three wires on to a banana plug. You can see the, look at the solder, see? Fucking nice. Well, you always use the another connector that it's intended to do to hold it, right? And always put something here, like, like it doesn't have to be much, like a piece of paper towel. Look at that. Piece of paper towel. Put it on your shit like that. Put your wire in it so you don't crimp your wire. Hold it. And look. You see? You can solder that. That's not going to move. What? That cord video I just posted. Fucking guy's holding it with his hand. Cord. You just move solder just a, and it's cold. Oh, there you go. See that? You hold your shit. You do that with RCAs, everything. With RCAs, I use this. I've been soldering since I was a little fucking baby, man. Here. RCAs, I use this. See? What is the other thing? So let's say you're soldering something like uh, an RCA. Something like that. Hey, look at this. I soldered that 20 years ago. Look at that. Still clean. Like, look at that. Silver, silver. Well, what you do is you just put that in. What that does is it's a heat shake. It's a it's a heat uh, sink, and it keeps your center pin aligned when you're soldering. You see, and then you can hold it, and whatever your wire, set it up, get it perfect, perfect, perfect. Tighten up all your things. Boom, solder it. It's not going to move. Then when you're done, your pin's nicely done. Okay, the reason I'm doing this video, this shit. Right here, the crap of the crap, it causes static. I could rub that on carpet there and it'll stick on the wall. Why would you want to put static on a cable? Fucking junk. Look at this. This is how Lynn do their bananas in their, their boxes. Look at that. One hole, Lynn banana, click, bolt it. That has to be one of the best connections for speakers. Spades? Okay, let me get back to clean. This is so easy to do. People never clean their work. I always have it. Right here. It's called methyl hydrate. You don't need much of it. Easy to work with. Flammable. It's alcohol. Don't drink it. People do drink it, but that's fucking sick, man. Wood alcohol? Kill ya. You don't need much. And pour yourself a little bit like that. Get yourself a brush. Uh, where's my good brushes? Shit, I don't know where they are. Okay, well, I'll use this brush, too. Just a stiff, stiff brush. Put some metal hydrate there. Clean your joint, how about a neck? Clean it all. See? Get all your flux out of there. I don't know if you can see that. See? Get your paper towel, clean it. Do it again. Get in there. Get all that fucking flux out of there. See how the, the joint gets shiny? That's what you want. Clean it. And then. The shot back. See? Stick it in there. Clean your shit. Do it again. See? It? Get in there, clean. Same thing with circuit boards. See the circuit board? 
I mean, look at this. I'm taking a look at this. What is this? This is a power supply. I'm looking at the joints. This was never cleaned. Look. Clean your boards. You know, this is not the right brush, but clean your boards. Use a shot pack. Clean it. Look, I can see the residue coming off this board. Look at that. See all that white shit? That's residue. That's got to be super clean. You should see how Lynn clean a board, man. Especially surface mount. When you got surface mount, underneath the board, like not underneath the board, but underneath the parts of surface mounts, it's not a surface mount. There's nothing in here. But even that, shit gets underneath the part. After time, it's going to corrode. Look at that. That's, that's a PlayStation board. Look at the residue on that. That shit. Okay. This is my little uh, video. Uh, help you guys out. See ya.